Or it might be you just need to look at it completely differently. It might be sometimes to get a different coach. I mean, you see this all the time with tennis players, yes. right? Sometimes they're, they're doing really, really well. They're top five, top six, and then they change coach and they go to number one for a while. Or, you know, they... The other way around as well. Or the yeah. other way around. Yeah. They change coach, or they get fed up, they fall out, something happens in their personal relationship, and they suddenly plummet. And do they know any less tennis? Probably not. You see this in golf quite a lot as well. Sport's a good one because um, you, can, you can see something like golf. So much of the time you're not actually hitting the ball. So, so much of that game, the golf game, is mental game yeah. and, and getting yourself set That's up. A so, good point, yeah. so a strategy really for that is making sure you are completely clean in your mind and not actually thinking of anything else when you're, when you're playing and just letting all the practice that you've done. Because like, you don't suddenly go from hitting the ball brilliantly to not knowing how to hit the ball. So, you know, at all, like, okay, it'll be a combination of things, but there's very, one of the things that um, I always think of is Roger Federer. Now, Roger Federer's won a bunch of tennis games. Right? A bunch. <laughs> you watch his face just after he's lost a match point or he hasn't claimed or he's hit, you know, he, he's just had a chance to win the game and he's missed it. And it's almost like you couldn't tell if it was the beginning of the game. You couldn't tell if his mum was coming around for tea. You couldn't tell if it was his birthday. You couldn't tell if he just had a tax bill. You can't tell. It's exactly the same. He's got this ability to, even though he's made a complete muff up that's just cost him the match. I mean, he's still in the game, but he hasn't, he's missed that opportunity. He has that ability, what, you know, is a strategy to be able to completely forget about yeah. it. So many of us don't have that. And we have this, we take this previous bad experience we've got from the last time we did a test, yeah. or the last time we did this, or the last time we tried a question on this, or the last time we tried to understand this and we didn't get it, and we take that in into the next, um, mm. the next instance. So I say one strategy is being able to completely sort of reset your mind. Whenever anything negative comes in, is be able to like switch it yeah. out and just, yeah. So I don't know, that's... That's an interesting one.